Secretary, our sister now, Jane Marriott, the governor of the great city of Nairobi, ministers present, members of parliament, including my good friends from the committee, and uh, Nairobians, good, up, good evening. When I came into office, the first issue that I was confronted with was this railway city project. I was informed that uh, this program would not go ahead unless I did a few things. I was very happy that the few things that I was asked to do were done, and that's why we are here today. We are at the season of our new, of our national calendar when we review our nation's journey through history and draw strength and inspiration from the struggles, sacrifices, progress, and victories achieved along the way. In this context, the history of Kenya's railway system is traditionally connected with the advent of foreign invasion, violent displacement, colonial settlement, and even exploitation. We must never forget where we have come from, and the time has come over a century later to write a new story of Kenya's historic progress on the tracks of railway connectivity. Today marks the beginning of this new direction, which links our railway system to the promise of socio-economic liberation to deliver growth and well-being for not just Nairobi, but our country. Economic productivity and competitiveness are associated with the density of transport and communications infrastructure linkages. Transport systems in particular are the cornerstone of efficiency. Conversely, therefore, inadequate transport systems are a serious growth and development challenge as delays and high costs of transportation hold entire cities and nations back, as has been ably explained by our governor. Our plan to accelerate the pursuit and achievement of shared prosperity through a radical socioeconomic transformation consists of a comprehensive array of interventions that take care of every sector. This transformation that we launch here today is underpinned by several cross-cutting enablers, among them transport, communication, infrastructure, and services. The improvements we are undertaking in the transport sector are therefore key strategic interventions aimed at complementing the pillars of our transformation agenda. They are aimed at facilitating easier and faster movement throughout the country, easing urban congestion and eliminating the costly delays caused by daily gridlocks on our roads. In particular, we are committed to liberating Nairobi to enable it live up to its full promise of a national, regional, continental, and global multi-sectoral hub, thereby harnessing Kenya's real potential. And to do this, we intend to redevelop the Nairobi Central Railway Station and its pressings into the Nairobi Railway City. This will be a multimodal transport and transit-oriented urban development, which will exploit the station's strategic location to establish itself as an iconic nerve center for a thriving continental metropolis. By multimodal, we mean that the railway city will be defined by multiple forms of transport offering commuters convenience, safety, and speed. The Nairobi Railway City is designed to be a masterpiece, an icon expression of complementary convergence of three transformational master plans. One, the Nairobi Integrated Urban Master Plan, 
the Nairobi Transport Master Plan, and the Nairobi Commuter Railway Master Plan. These plans are intended to achieve numerous critical objectives, including creating a transit hub, regenerating the pressings of Nairobi Central Station, expanding the city to the southeast, and positioning Nairobi as a leading global city and a thriving commercial hub. In pursuit of the urban regeneration, phase one of the development which would deliver a new central station with a revised railway track and a train station layout containing a bus rapid transport system, this phase will also include the construction of a covered pedestrian bridge on the workshop road, viaduct bridges, and commercial premises with ample parking space. I am very proud. <laughs> Minister Cleverly, for you coming so that we can do this together to show the convergence of British and Kenyan interests. The first phase will also, comprom uh, will also comprise 10,000 housing units on 40 acres of railway city. This development will significantly contribute to our plan to deliver 250,000 affordable urban housing units annually. And later this week, on Saturday, I will be launching another additional 5,000 houses in uh, Eastlands in our city in our journey to ensuring that the residents of Nairobi have homes to live in and we create many more homeowners than is currently the case. This morning again, I was in at the river on the same trajectory, launching the construction of another 5,300 homes, construction of homes, again under our affordable housing plan because we want to sort out the 600, six, six and a half million Kenyans who today live in informal settlements. It is our commitment and we intend to deliver on every portion of our commitment. The construction of the first two phases of the development will employ, as you've heard, 5,000 people and upon completion will create another 5,000 jobs. Additionally, there will be opportunities for thousands of micro, small, and medium enterprises to trade in the retail and commercial spaces and the non-motorized transport corridor. We now have evidence that in developing our transport sector, we generate ripple effect throughout the economy. I want to congratulate the city of Nairobi for already identifying commercial spaces for all our small traders in the city of Nairobi, and this effort we are doing in this city will complement what the city of Nairobi is doing. We, <clears throat> at the Nairobi Central Station, Kenya is now able to disembark from the slow conveyance of history and wait on the platform for a new train headed to the future. We have come to the Nairobi Railway Station to bear witness to the regeneration of Nairobi, the transformation of Kenya, and the renaissance of our continent. I want to thank our friends, the British government, and thank you, Minister, for coming to be here in person, to do this with us. Because I remember very well when we agreed on this program with the Prime Minister of the UK. And we signed off to about 500 billion Kenya shillings, including this project, the water project, the geothermal, uh, facility that we are going to develop, and um, the solar energy program we are going to develop, and the High Grand Falls Dam, a total of 500 billion shillings. Many people were wondering 
whether this is a reality. I am happy that we are standing here today and you yourself have spoken to the fact that this is not just a conversation, this is creating the future together with us and working together. I want to say without belaboring that the British High Commissioner has been very instrumental in making sure that this program, not just this one, but all the programs we are running with your good government are moving and moving with the required speed. And I want to commit that the administration that I run will work with you as we will work with all our other development partners to ensure that the transformation of Kenya is not delayed and the transform, uh, transformation of Kenya is not derailed. We're going to work together and ensure that we deliver on the commitments that we have made and on ensuring that Kenya becomes truly the middle income economy that we have all um, been associated with. And I want to commend um, the residents of the city of Nairobi. Progressively, we are beginning to see order in the city of Nairobi, thanks to the government of the city of Nairobi. You have our support. I want to commit that um, the Nairobi Reverse Commission will now move with speed to ensure that we clean the city of Nairobi, especially the rivers, eliminate um, the waste that is going into our city, ensuring that we, uh, we, we create a, a, a transport ecosystem around our, our rivers and even help the other counties downstream. I was in Machakos today and there are They've always been concerned about the effluence that Nairobi puts in the rivers and it pollutes the river all the way to Kitui. And I want to commit here that we are going to ensure that we eliminate all the effluence that are being pushed into the Nairobi River through the initiative that we have made. And I want to thank the Deputy President and uh, the uh, Governor of Nairobi for spearheading that program, I will be expecting results because the city of Nairobi deserves better than we have today. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is a wonderful event. I am truly happy that this event is happening in our lifetime, and a few years from now, we will be having a wonderful facility in this same place. Santeni Sana, thank you very much, and may the good Lord bless you.